Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lily if you're new here and this is my special guest today. <laughs> if you can tell by the title, I'm doing a little meet my puppy video and he is an Italian Greyhound cross with a whippet. He is 11 weeks old today, so getting to be a big boy now. <laughs> he was so small when we first got him a few weeks ago, but he's grown so much already. Just do a little stand up, probably can't really see him, but Obviously I'm gonna have some clips at the end of him. He is <laughs> very fidgety right now because he hasn't really been in, oh, thank you, kisses. He hasn't really been in my bedroom properly. So this little guy's name is Dante and we chose it because he's an Italian Greyhound cross. So we wanted something that sounded Italian. Um, oh, thank you for the cuddle. He is so cuddly. He honestly hasn't stopped. <laughs> he loves chewing on my hair. He hasn't stopped cuddling us since he arrived really. Well, he was, Pretty scared on his first day. They call Italian greyhounds Velcro dogs, um, so they're always so attached to you. He loves coming to bring a toy to chew and just sits right on my lap and is quite happy and then just falls asleep. So we decided to go for him because Italian greyhound was one of the breeds that we were looking at because of their nature and also because they're short haired. So that's a plus. You're not gonna get long hair shedding everywhere. And we just loved that he was gonna be small, although because he is crossed with a whippet, he's gonna grow a little bit bigger than a normal Italian Greyhound would, but that's fine because we don't mind the in-between sort of size that you're gonna grow to. So a couple of things that I've learned about this sort of breed, um, or Italian Greyhounds especially, is that they can be super crazy. He has crazy half outs, actually crazy hours. So this little guy is so springy. He just bounces around and jumps up in the air like a little bouncy ball. It's really cute, but also quite high energy. So he can have energy bursts that last for quite a long time, but then he does also sleep for a really long time. And he's super cute when he's sleepy. But with this kind of breed, with their really skinny legs, you have to be super careful because they are prone to accidents and especially because they're so bouncy they can easily snap their little leg. Also, they do tend to get dental issues, so you have to make sure that you brush their teeth, which is something that we've been trying to do, isn't it? He's decided he doesn't want to be held for the time being, he's just laid down behind me, but that gives me a chance to show you a couple of his favorite toys. First one is this really big, well, it's, <laughs> it's big in comparison to him, it's like, it was pretty much the same size as him when we first got him. But he loves playing tug of war with this one and I just think because it's super squishy for him to chew on and it's got a squeaker in it. So yeah, he loves that one. Also, this is another favorite one. It's just a chewy, he's digging on my bed. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. So it's just a chewy rubber ball, but it's great because he can get his teeth into the little gaps and really give it a proper chew. Whereas I think a solid ball like this, he wouldn't be able to chew it properly. So that's really great. This is definitely a very well-loved toy. Um, I don't know if you can see it's, <laughs> I don't know if you can see um, it's completely ripped to shreds. So it's just these two rubber rings with spikes on, which is good for teething. And then you've got this rope section in the middle, which joins them together. And and he loves this sort of rope texture um, by the looks of things. And this one is definitely one of his favorites. Um, it's just this really long hot dog style squeaky rubber toy, which he loves dragging about with him, even though it's pretty long. He's moved on to a different toy. So there you can see it a little bit better. It's just this really long, rubber kind of super scary and ugly toy. So just another thing that you have to be mindful of with this particular breed and similar breeds to it is that they do get cold because they have such thin coats. So you do want to get them a lot of blankets and <laughs> coats and jumpers just to keep them warm through the winter months. So, so far we have loved having this little guy as part of our family and we love him so much. I probably missed out a whole bunch of stuff, but he wasn't gonna let me hold him for too much longer. So I'll go ahead and insert some cute footage here and hopefully you enjoy.
So thank you so much for watching. Sorry it was such a super short video, but I hope you enjoyed meeting my little puppy. And let me know in the comments whether you want to see maybe more videos in the future with him in, I can definitely do that. Remember to click like and subscribe down below and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye. So yeah, so far we have loved having this little guy.